Hey, what up guys? It's True here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the size of an image react to audio in Adobe After Effects. And a quick note, this isn't going to be a primer into Adobe After Effects or Photoshop or any of the things that go into making these assets. So if you need that, please find another video. All right, without further ado, let's get it. I'm going to start off by dragging in my assets, which are the background, the uh, image I'm going to have react, and the audio file. I like to drag down the background first since I pre-sized it in Photoshop, and that will create a composition at that exact size. I did standard def, 1280 by 720. I'm going to pull in the image that I'm going to have react. Let's put it in the right order. You'll note it has a transparent background. It's a PNG. That's probably what you're going to want. And then I'm going to pull down the audio. Okay, this is where the process really begins to make it react. So right-click the audio, go to Keyframe Assistant, Convert audio to keyframes. You'll see this audio amplitude track popped up and processed. Once that's done, select it, click U, and select the left and right channel and delete. Try that again, delete, all right. Then go to the image you wanna have react, select it and type S to bring up the scale. Option click the little clock next to scale and you see this little swirl here? That's the expression pick whip. You're gonna wanna click and drag that to the slider. Okay, once this text pops up, you're gonna wanna type plus, open bracket, 100, comma, 100. And it automatically closes the bracket for you, so all we gotta do is click out. And we're essentially done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you and let you see how it looks. You'll note that there's not much reaction happening at the beginning, and that's because the uh, size is reacting to the amplitude of the audio. So once the beat actually drops, it'll react more. As you guys can see, the, uh, the size of this image was reacting based on how loud the music was. So that's how we do it in a quick and easy way. And there's other ways to do this, of course. And you can also use the same technique to um, affect other things besides the scale. If you use the same, uh, do it the same way, just kind of drag it to different parameters and experiment. Um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. Much love. Peace.